right, here we go. So you want to make sure that this is dry. Very, very, very dry. What up, everybody? I hope you're doing well. Hello. If you don't know me, this is Gabriel from Motivated Painters. I wanted to make another review on a different clear that I use. Guys, I can't do a review on something that I don't use and unfortunately I don't own my own shop so whatever we use here, that's what I can show you, all right? So, what do I mean by that? That I will show you the, the, the products that I use, right? Um, the 520 that you guys probably seen, if you haven't seen that, it's right here, I'll put it somewhere here. You can click on that on the eye and then you'll go see it. Uh, this is the 550. I mixed it. It's the same mixer ratio as the 520 as the 530. It is uh, 3 to 1 to 1 mixer ratio. And uh, I'll put uh, the, the tack sheet here. Now, guys, look at the tack sheet. I don't know everything. I hope you know that. <laughs> I don't know anything. I don't know everything. So you need to look at the tack sheet and refer yourself to that because that should be your go-to for when spraying any products. Not me, not anybody else, but the tech sheet because that's a great foundation to start. And I and, and so look at the tech sheet, even before you ask a question, I encourage you to look at the tech sheet. Okay, anyways, I like to use, uh, this is a perfect job to show you the 550 on because it's such a gigantic panel. We got a big, and this is a black car, so black, black truck. Big, bulgy panel. Anything will look good on this, but it's such a big panel and this area is so flat that it's this, I, I always use 550 clear for this, especially for these gigantic doors that look more like a hood than a door. I always use 550 because 550 gives me that shine, that orange peel that I want to see. So um, three to one to one, that's a mixer ratio. I'm using an Iwata WS400 14 HD tip. This um, is my gun for clear at all times. Um, I just love it. And you can see how I set that up here as well. Um, okay, so anyways, without further ado, we're going to put one coat on this and I'll, I'll talk about how I put it on after I put it on. Thirty-five psi is what I like to spray at. And uh, one of my subscribers commented to start at the bottom on the first coat and then start at the top on the second coat. And so we'll try it out and see what I think of this one.
Beautiful. All right. So I put it on a little bit. Uh, how do I explain it? I pulled the trigger 95%, and I want you saw that I was going a little bit fast. And what I want to do is I just want to put one thin coat of this clear coat and then I'm going to let it flash off for uh, 10 minutes to 15 minutes and then we're going to put on a second coat and we're going to put it on a little bit heavier. And for this clear, it just works best that way. So I'm going to do go close up so you can see a little bit of the orange peel on there. But that's good. It's essential for this clear to flash off. It will not perform properly if you don't let it flash off. So I'm gonna let this flash off for, I think, 15 minutes, um, just for the sake of showing you. And, and that's what you should be doing. You should wait 10 to 15, no less than 10. Never, 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 ever, ever. Because you do not want, um, it just does not perform. It, just, it will not hold up the shine properly. So you wanna make sure that you got 15 minutes flash on this 550 clear. If you don't have a bake oven, I will not recommend this clear for you. If this will, this clear would take a long time to dry on its own, okay? So like I said before, refer to the tech sheet for proper use, all right? But I, I've tried this clear for a long time now and 15 minutes Flash time is beautiful. And then the second coat, you put it on nice and, and wet and it holds the shine beautifully, okay? So we're gonna let this flash off and we'll be back. So that's the first coat. This is another uh, job that I'm doing here with 550 to show you guys. So as you can see, there's a slight orange peel on there, right? And uh, you want an even finish, right? You want, I mean, most of the time I, I say like your, your second coat is just gonna mold to whatever your first coat was. So you wanna put it on nice and even, uh, you know, try to put it on as, as smooth as possible. But don't over put it on because then you're going to put too much clear and then you're going to run into problems with dye back and all that stuff. So we're going to let this flash off for 15 minutes and come back and put another coat. All right, 15 minutes up. Now, got a hold of attention to what my gun is doing and what I'm doing with my trigger. I'm going to go full trigger and just look, have a, have, a, have a look at my pace and how I'm moving.
beautiful. Yes, I know, should have taken that off, but the body man didn't, so I have to deal with what I have to do. But I was able to get in, there is a nice gap in here. Beautiful. This, the nice thing about the spear, it's that if you got the right temperature, it stays open for a little longer. You can actually go over it a little bit. Not too much though. Not too much. Just a little bit right away. That's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bake this at 165 for 35 minutes. That's what is fine. It's a nice spot. Get the solvents out of there quick and it will lay down nice and uh, it'll be, it'll be, it won't, it's not going to be hard after the bake. But after it settles, after it's baked, it can sit for about half an hour or so and then be put together. So you got that little bit of a texture on there. Much better than factory anyways. And uh, there you go, look at that shine. It, it's very nice. You can, beautiful shine. That's what I like about this clear. And that shine stays there and holds the shine which is what I like for 550. When you got such a gigantic panels, you need something that's gonna be a little bit more forgiving. So the 550 is very forgiving in the sense that you can go over a little spot if you have to, but it, it all depends on the temperature. If you go anything over 75 or 80 degrees, you're not, you won't be able to do that. But this, this clear allows you to do that um, as, as like when other clears you can't really do that because you'll get dry spots and stuff like that. So, but see here, like I went over that spot there a little bit on the top and there's no overspray or orange peeliness around it. Same thing over here. So, yeah, so that's it. That's 550. 15 minutes, ready to go. Right, just put a quick coat on the inside. I usually put just one coat. And I lower the pressure a little bit as well. To like 27. Because in there, this needs to look perfect.
right. 22 ounces for that. There's a tiny little bit in there, but not too much. So there you have it. Little nib right there. Nib right there. Little nib right there. Other than that, it's nice and clean. Look at the reflection. It's beautiful. That's what I like about this clear coat. Um, the 550 shines like a diamond. It's beautiful. So now we're gonna bake that. You wanna, we're gonna bake it right away, like I mentioned before. I'm gonna bake it at uh, 165 for about 35 minutes. And the thing is, if you don't bake it properly, it will be a nightmare to polish. People say, oh, it, it goes hard as a rock, but it's actually, if you don't bake it properly, it actually doesn't dry. So when you go to sand it, it clumps up your sandpaper and your sandpaper just spins and spins and spins and it doesn't do anything and then giving you the illusion that you're not um, that it's too hard and that you're not sanding but the, the, the fact is that it, the clear coat is not cured yet and your sandpaper is all clumped up if you look at your sandpaper you'll notice that it's shiny because all that clear coat is on your sandpaper so if you run across that the best thing to do is to get water, spray your sandpaper, and with a toothbrush, turn the DA on, and uh, it will get rid of all that, and then just do it like that. Do it nib by nib. And uh, I noticed that that helps a lot. But when you bake this clear coat properly, and it's get to the proper uh, metal temp that you need it at, it will, it will buff out perfectly. And it, it, it's got such a nice shine that it, you have no problems buffing it. Um, always check the tech sheets guys um, you know if you have any questions go ahead and ask and I'll try my best to answer with the knowledge that I have um, until next time you know that um, when we do good work it does something to your heart and and I just feel like telling the people who work for for bosses that are not very nice to you know just do the good work for you do the good work for yourself for me i've always worked for god i always work for the lord because i know that he sees everything and that i can do my best when i'm working for god and i'm not working for men so yes you know you might have a boss you may not have a boss but the ultimate boss is up there and he loves us and he wants us to do the best job we can so anyways uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless you. And see you next time. Motivated Painters over and out. Oh, and uh, if you want to support the channel, um, there, you can donate. There's a donate button on the page um, through PayPal. You can buy a Motivated Painters package. Those are flying out and people love them. I would 
mean the world to me if you anyways oh crap i have to i have to bake this anyways bye peace love you baked looks good no runs i like it nice shine peace